Matheny, the starting pitcher for the Wilcox Chargers as they host Palo Alto in the De Anza Division tourney. Top one, Aiden Berger comes up with one on and no out and sends a shot to right. Kiss it goodbye and Pally takes the 3-0 lead after one. With two on in the bottom of the inning, the Vikings starting hurler Ryan Harvey shuts the door on the Chargers. That puts the bats in the hands of the Vikings. Hyun Woo Ro leads off the second with a single up the middle for one of his three hits on the day. He would later end up on third. Then it's Josh Kasevich doing the job, grounding one to the right side, allowing Ro to score, and it's 4 nothing Pally. And here comes another Viking run in the fourth. Runner on second, Xander Darby launches it over the center fielder's head. Paul Thigh scores. Give him a smile. Darby, the Viking lead is now six. Wilcox gets on the board in the bottom of the inning with a runner on second. Alex Adami goes right side and gets it through. Here comes Paul Rosa, and it's 6-1 Vikings. Alex Tolver up to bat for the Chargers, nicks a single through the left side. He'd finish the day with two hits, but we head to the top of the sixth, still a 6-1 game. Kyle Mastafasada lifts the ball to center with a runner on third, and that scores Berger. Top of the sixth, Wilcox trying to make a comeback. Jeff Harvey hits it to left field. It's just out of the reach of the left fielder, and here comes Nick Malvini racing home, and the Chargers have their second run on the day. The score is 8-2, but Rowe puts a damper on the Chargers' day. Watch this amazing clutch diving catch. And after finishing fourth in league, Palo Alto takes home the De Anza Division Tournament title. Hi, I'm Kathleen Pazine in Palo Alto, and I'm proud to support high school athletes on the 49ers Cal High Sports Report.